Hi everybody, it's Rachel at Nose to Trail. This is the first video that I've actually done any speaking in. I normally avoid doing any talking and just let you look at lovely pictures of my dogs. But I just wanted to explain what's happening in the video today. So following the infographic that I posted the other week on preparing your dogs for face masks, I've had a couple of questions about it. Um, I think mainly because the steps are so detailed on the graphic that I posted and a lot of your dogs probably like mine, will skip through the process really quickly. So the key thing that you want to do is just make sure that your dog is happy throughout the process. So just keep watching their body language, making sure that your dogs seem relaxed, seem comfortable, that they're still enjoying the training. If at any point when you present the mask, um, be it on the floor or up near your face, your dog's body language changes and they seem scared in any way, shape or form or just a bit anxious, a bit fearful, then stop what you're doing. You want to take it a bit slower and go back a step, okay? The key thing is with this that we don't know how long people are going to be wearing face masks. They may just become a normal day-to-day -day thing that carries on for a long time. So we need our dogs to get used to that and most of them won't be used to it. So what we want to do is just make sure our dogs have a really positive association with the face mask. So if any of you have ever done clicker training um, where you click and you give a treat and the dog learns that that noise is a really good thing, you're doing the same with the mask. You basically want the mask to have a really good association. The dogs see the mask and they're happy, they're comfortable around it, they're not spooked by it or freaked out by it in any way shape or form. So yeah what you want to do is just short sessions um, you might want to start by introducing it on the floor like I do with Maisie um, but because I do a lot of training with Maisie she thought that the aim of the game was for her to touch her nose to it um, which obviously I don't need her to do because I'm not going to get Maisie to wear the face mask um, but you'll see very quickly in the video that I moved to wearing the mask and I can just do normal training with Maisie which is a really helpful step because it makes her just realise that it's just a normal thing, it's just going to be around from time to time. Um, so I'm not doing all my training sessions wearing a mask, I'm certainly not wearing a mask when I'm in the house with just me, my partner and the dogs. Um, but when we're out and about on a walk I might be wearing a mask and I want the dogs to still be able to do things and still react to me in the same normal way and also react to other people who are wearing masks. So, what I haven't done in the video because I didn't go out and about is explain that if you're out and about and you spot someone wearing a mask and if your dog just doesn't bat an eyelid, they they seem fine with it, reward that because that nice calm behaviour around people wearing masks is what you want your dogs to continue doing. So yeah, if you're out and about on your daily exercise and you spot someone, even if they're quite far in the distance, if your dog looks at them and they're not bothered, and their body language stays relaxed, just if you use a mark word, say a mark word, give them a treat, click, treat, whichever way you do um, your training. But yeah, just start making sure that they realise that masks are a good thing and nothing to be scared of. I'll let you watch the video, but if you've got any questions or if at any point your dog seem fearful or worried by the mask, please get in touch. I'm more than happy to help. Good girl. <laughs> Give any paw. Easily. Is it? Is it? 